I am Diana Lenska. And I am Michael Leo Sentai. And this is Indie View, where you, the filmmaker, and your film are the stars. Today's film that we're going to show you the trailer of is a full and feature film from Korea in the Korean language called Grendel. So we're going to show you the trailer right now, and then Michael and I will come back and give you our review. Here is Grendel. The police are not using the police in the scene. The police are not using the police. The police are not using the police. What do you mean? The police are not using the police. The police are not using the police. The police are not using the police. And the police are not using the police. 이 게임 아시죠? 한 사람만이 살아남을 수 있는 권리를 가지게 되는 거예요. 다니엘은 제 분신입니다. 지령이나 마찬가지죠. 야, 무슨 말해? 나도 금방 이런 말하고. 그랜드. 뭐? 사건의 범인 그놈이 자수하기를 원해. 누군지 알잖아. 이 게임은 5분 안에 끝내야 될 거예요. 그래야 해독제를 맞고 살아남을 수 있습니다. 오케이, 마이클. Now this is a a little bit I think up your alley to yes. some res yes. or some respects with this film. And um, what I also want to let the uh, audience know. This was made with a hundred thousand um, dollar U.S. dollars. He's a first-time filmmaker. Again, pronunciation of the name. If I butcher it, please forgive me. On Han Min, director, writer, key cast, art director, did the costumes and the martial artwork in yes. this film. Yes, incredible. To, to wear so many hats in one feature production. That's a lot of talent all in one mm -hmm. area, for sure. Um, I really love the dark tone of the film. The coloring was really mm -hmm. interesting, and the lighting. I, I'm a big, big, big on lighting, because it definitely helps set a mood in a feature film, and this one really did. Um, and, I fear, and I felt that the, the performances were very strong as well. Everyone came across excellent. And even the director himself was excellent in the film. Now, with the film being from uh, Korea, in the Korean language, which mm -hmm. I don't think you see that often, uh, no. especially even sometimes in film festivals. Mm -hmm. I think we're used to seeing film uh, from Spain, right. from Italy, Germany, countries like that. For seeing a film like this, and especially also being a judge mm -hmm. uh, for the Chautauqua International Film Festival, what was your perception of seeing the premise of this film from Korea's media, their culture, and their society today, in, in today's setting. Sure, definitely for me, faster paced than us. Mm -hmm. um, and just just a different sense of time. Everything to me always seems, watching it, that everything went faster to me. I don't know if that was my own perception of the film, but that is the difference I saw with their culture versus ours. So. And you can, um, I had been in Hong Kong a number of years ago, and there is something of that fast pace and, mm -hmm. and movement. There seems mm -hmm. to be something uh, also with the, uh, the uh, you know, Asian culture. In the same hand, when you're also speaking to people uh, from these cultures or in business, they almost have sometimes, and I'm not going to see everyone, but quite often, mm -hmm. a serenity and almost a setback way yes. in their uh, speech with you or their mannerisms, that it almost seems like a paradox with the the speed and the movement yes. of everything in their culture yes. to almost this right. surreal sense of, well, I'm not really in a rush. Right. It's the complete opposite, but somehow it just works together. And it conveys yes. in, in this film. Yes, very much so. Yes. Now, this is a mystery drama. What um, did you come away uh, with this, uh, this film? And, and any message in particular that uh, was related to you through... Mm -hmm. um, the filmmaker's uh, structure of this film? Well, I definitely like the, the, the question that was posed in the film. Um, you know, without giving away too much about the film, you know, would you trade someone else's life for your own? Mm -hmm. um, 
prosperity. Mm -hmm. You know, what if you were in that position? Would you be willing to do it? And I think films like this are interesting because it always makes you put yourself in that mindset and question mm -hmm. that because in the end we're all human beings and we're capable of anything. And you notice it's also played with the, the mystery, the drama. It's almost like this this game yes. that people are playing with lives. That really, with, with lives. Yeah. And this is what makes this film so fascinating. Right. But also, uh, before we get to our ratings, it's the title of the film. And again, my pronunciation, Grendel, a beast who has been killed by a hero, mm. stands for something in the borderline between good and evil. And such as human nature, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Fascinating um, film. Yes. Brilliantly done. Excellent actors, mm -hmm. cinematography, music, everything Great pacing. works. Perfectly. Yes. True. And let's get to our ratings. Okay. I gave it a 9.1. Um, you know, first time filmmaker, but I'm sure you gave it a high rating as well, right? I gave it 9.5. All right. We're in the same ballpark for sure. Yes. Great piece. Yes. So, now the next film that we are going to review is a film short. It's from India and it's based on a true story. So we are going to show you the trailer now of 93, not out. It's from India, as I said before. Now, again, the filmmaker's name, this one is really a little tricky. Arudra Saravana Kumar. Hope I got your name correct. This is uh, his film, and the premise centers around a senior citizen. So I'll let you uh, start mine. Well, I, I definitely enjoyed this film. Um, the, as usual with some of these films we've been watching, um, there's great cinematography and it was mm -hmm. well paced. I always appreciate that. Um, and I enjoyed seeing the life um, through the perspective of, of an elderly person. Mm -hmm. Too often we don't really, as a society in America, I don't think we tend yes. to really um, take into consideration an elderly person's thoughts, feelings, or their perceptions about life. No. And they in, almost feel forgotten. And when you think even as a filmmaker, what is an issue with the Hollywood film crowd? I've seen this even sometimes with right. some uh, Christian and inspirational films, is leaning more towards youth. Yes. The characters have to be younger. They'll right. cast younger actors, and more, more often than not, actresses. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say a, a role that's supposed to be for a 50 year old will cast a 30 year old in it. They don't want to make an older character uh, the star of the film. Right. So here you have a 93 year old individual. Mm -hmm a man who is the star of this film. And that's something that I also love right. about this. Right. And after you watch the film for a few minutes, you don't even think of him as being an older gentleman. No. He's, you know, in yeah. some ways very childlike. His perceptions about the world and the things that he wants. And that was refreshing for me. And everything that he's doing in life is what anybody, anybody who was half his yes. age would yes. be doing. And it's showing how society, that sometimes we look at an older person and don't 
see them as that person. We're only looking at that right. shell, that outer shell, and not who that person is inside. And the fascinating thing with this story is the message that's in it. It also centers around this book that he wants to get. He must get this book. So that's one of the interesting premises and how it ends and the message that's conveyed yes. at the end. Yes. It all comes together well in the end. It really does. Now, finally, at the end, we're not going to tell you what happens with this, this book, but at the end, he finally realizes that, and this is to quote, his quote, I searched many places for God, never realizing love is God. Great message. A beautiful message that ends this film, and I wasn't expecting that. Not at all. I didn't think, this is not a religious film. No. But it shows you how, even in a film that's not religious, just like in our everyday life, there is that element of spirituality, of God, of love. And that's what makes this a beautiful little gem of a film that will be screened at the Chautauqua International Film Festival and is up for an award. Yes. And um, I gave it myself a 9.4 high score. And I gave the film a 9.5. Wow. Yes. Okay. So, again, this is another uh, wrap to an episode of Indie View. Now, again, we are on Facebook. We are on Twitter. Do follow us on our Indie View channel. And if you want to ask us any questions or submit a film to be reviewed, you can send us an email to IndieViewTV at gmail.com. This is Diana Lenska. And I am Michael Leo Sentai. For Indie View, take care.